All right, so um, my TV frame bezel finally came in. Uh, for some strange reason, the UPS person dropped it off in the building next door. This was last Wednesday. I saw that it was dropped off, but it wasn't at my building. My building number is uh, 3,800. The building next to me is 3,900. I was going to go over there anyway just to see, but I didn't want to look suspicious and I didn't want to come off weird. So I just called uh, the company that I bought the frame. I got it from Amazon, but it is a company that uh, that's a third party or attached with Amazon, and I bought it through them. So I called them and let them know that I didn't receive it. So uh, she optioned that. Um, I think I don't think she optioned that they sent me another one. I think she mainly optioned that they'll refund my my money. So I didn't want to do that because I wanted my TV frame. Like I needed it. I know why I needed it, but I wasn't sure where the package was, so I didn't want to take any chances. So I said just refund me my money. But I knew that they probably dropped it off somewhere around here. So today when I came in. Somebody left a note saying that there was a package um, next door that belonged to me. So I went and got it. I was happy because um, <laughs> actually I got my money back. I got pretty much a free TV frame. So I'm kind of debating if I should, you know, have some integrity and call the people and say I actually got it. But UPS dropped it off. But I feel like that was inconvenient. So maybe. I don't know. It all depends. But anyways... I needed my uh, my bezel because my frame TV did not necessarily look like the picture, like a picture frame. That's what I wanted to look like where people come in, you know, they think it's a, a picture because of the, of the actual bezel, but it's actually a TV. So when I got it, it was easy to put together. It was like maybe one two three four one two four five six about seven eight steps to put everything together it was real simple and i want you to tell me what you think this is the tv in my main spot the living room and that's my frame tv So, as you see, I just got a, uh, I go to YouTube and they have these different settings that you can set it up as. And um, that's just one of the settings, but sometimes I like to have the aquarium. Um, let me see. Just kind of get you. A, like I was, I was trying to explain to you, like if I was having a dinner or something and I wanted to just set the mood um i put it on like go to youtube put it on bahamas um scenery and i like these particular uh videos because you know they just i don't know you can just sit at the table and you know enjoy a nice dinner while you got a uh, nice scenery in the background if you got an imagination like me then you feel like you're there. So uh, one thing I might, sometimes I, I might put it on. Uh, let, me get, let, me get, let me try to find something different. Uh, so look, so the, the reason why I like this bezel, let me turn the lights on so you see it. Hey Google, turn lights up to 100%. Okay, setting three lights brightest to 100%. Hey Google, turn lights color to white. Go All right. Changing three lights to white. I could have really just turned on the lights. All my lights aren't set up by Google. I don't know why I did that, but I could have just did that. But anyways, 
<clears throat> you get a better look at it. And uh, I wanted something that matched the gold, of course. They have different bezels. They have the, the more thin ones where it really, really looks like, you know, a, a, a picture up there. But the reason why I got this one is because, I don't know, it just looks uh, like Roman. Like that archaic type look. And it is, it kind of reminds me, what it does, it reminds me of the movie Scarface. And when Scarface went to go see the guy that was supplying him all the drugs... This is a bad example, but I mean, I, I I like his setup. Now, keep in mind, this was back what, in the 60s or 70s when they filmed Scarface. So when they went, when Scarface went to Sosa house, Sosa had a TV um, pretty much placed in the wall. So they cut a hole out in the wall. They put the TV in there and they put a frame like this up. So it looks like a TV and they, they was doing that back like in the, the 70s, you know. So, I mean, it just looks just, even though it's, it's not a, uh, the typical modern look, uh, I made it modern. But it also gave it some of that flavor back in the 70s too. Um, let me see. So I might do the aquarium. Uh, let me find a decent one. Uh, something like this, I guess. You know, and you might want to just eat dinner and have a view of um, the aquarium or some type of uh, background that show what's in the deep sea. And it just kind of gives you something to vibe off of. And sometimes you just put it on stuff like this if you want to talk. Because this is not something that you will actually watch, watch. You just It's just there, you know. It just gives you company. But, you know, I like different stuff like that. Um, you know, they just got different places on here that you can go to. But anyways... That's what it is. That's what it looked like. I like it. Um, it's just a different vibe than my TV over here. I mean, this area look plain. I can do something with this. Because <laughs> when you go over here, it looks it looks like something. But that's what I wanted it to look like. Um, but, yep. That's, tell me what you think. I this is, this is what I was waiting on. My kitchen, not my kitchen, my dining room area wasn't complete, you know, until I finally got my, my bezel. And now that I got my bezel, um, you know, it is set up like I want it. So like when I turn my TV off, it doesn't necessarily turn off uh, this frame TV. It goes to my, my picture. So that's my picture that I, they got different pictures up. Uh, some of them I have to like download. Some of them you may have to pay for. But I mean, I like this color. It's, you know, kind of just relaxing to me. So I just keep this picture up for right now. But, you know, I might in the future like have different pictures, especially like a lion picture and things like that. Something dealing with the jungle. But you can, uh, you know, uh, download pictures on your phone and uh, upload it to your frame TV and show that picture on your frame TV. You know, so it's a nice little vibe. But if I don't, if I don't want that type of plain environment, and they got other stuff like this one right here, you have to pay for this. But they, I think they'll let you do a like a preview. So I just put it on preview and you see how like that, you know, that back in a 2000 years ago, like Jesus time look, you know, you can picture a, a, a Jesus picture up there, like when the, the last supper, but yeah, so that's why I got the frame TV.
um, because I do like the fact that it has different uh, picture or art galleries. Um, I know you've seen this picture before, you know. So you could just, you could do whatever you want with it, especially with that bezel around it. It looks like a, it actually looks like a picture. That's what I like about it. That's why I got it. So, just a little something, you know, to show, to show you how I'm setting things up. And um, tell me what you think.